Montreal. How are you, Bersan? Welcome to the Zoom classes. Today we are going to discuss about your new chapter, chapter number six, simple chemical reaction. But to start this chapter or to start a chemical reaction, we must know about the changes which happens in matter. It could be a physical or it could be a chemical. What does this mean, physical or chemical? In the normal routine life, if we talk about the physical, physical means the thing which can you see with your eyes. And what could be a chemical? Chemical which you cannot see easily. It's not happening in front of you. It's happening inside of the substance, like that. The physical change can be reversed and chemical change difficult to reverse. We can understand it by giving its example. Lab. What is a physical change? If you have lots of fruits and you cut them, you have fruits, apple, mango, banana and strawberry and you cut them, chop them and now you add them in a cloud but still you can see the different fruits in your bowl or in your plate. They are all not mixed together. So it is easy to separate out them or it is difficult to separate out them. Yes, definitely it is easy to separate out them. But what will you call? You will say it's a fruit salad. So the things can be converted from one to another but the gene is physical which can be reversed. You can separate them. But if you talk about a chemical chain, what it means? If you talk about the chemical chain, example could be you are frying and add or anything which you are going to cook. So you have an add, you broke it and you put it on your stove on a pan and you fried it. So it has been fried now, it is difficult to reverse it or it is impossible to make it its real position or which was in it. It is called a chemical change. So in matter there are two types of change, physical change and chemical change. The physical change can be reversed but chemical change is not easy to reverse it or it is very difficult. Like we have a milk. Now, with the help of bacteria, we can convert the milk into yogurt. But it is difficult to convert yogurt again into milk. So means that it is a chemical change. So you can identify the changes, either it's a physical or chemical, by checking it that can you convert it back or not. If you can convert it back, it means that it is a physical change. If you are not able to convert it back, it means that it is a chemical change. Like you made a solution, solution of sugar and water or salt and water or you add any type of uh, things which you like, blue or soda or chili, whatever you want. So when you add in water or you add salt or sugar in water, they seem to be equally a homogeneous who doesn't feel the sugar salt outside the water now they have become in a one state but by the simple methods by the simple evaporation you can separate sugar solution you have and you can separate the sugar with water by simple evaporating but frying on it or cooking anything or you have a yogurt, it is difficult to reverse it. So it is called a chemical chain. So when two elements, two substances, two atoms, two small molecules, whatever they are, they combine and a chemical change occur. Two things combining and a chemical change is occurring. So they will form a totally new compound, new thing, which will not have the properties of their original one. It will call a chemical reaction. 
so we will discuss it in our next class what is a chemical reaction how we will write it what are these how many types of are these inshallah we will discuss it in the next class take care of yourself allah hafiz